Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I very much welcome Ikamala Mupilile, just in case uh, we've got new viewers. Thank you, thank you so much. You're very welcome to Pilile Papa's Entertainment. Please kindly subscribe, uh, like the video, and share the videos as well to elsewhere. And also watch this ads for your sister. Thank you, thank you very much, you guys. So, on this particular video, guys, I think I saw a story on a uh, Daily Sun. They are talking about how long it has been released, you guys, from prison on a warning. And it looks like he's going to be back uh, in court in somewhere in October, something like that, you guys. So when I saw the story that he's, he's uh, released, I was like, wow, you guys. And also, I just want to talk about uh, the picture. You know that we've been discussing the the, the old picture with the, is this long with Twala really can you see guys with this is still the same person if you can if I can show you the the other two pictures are uh, from our previous videos because I was getting those pictures from Ama publications we could mong along and then they throw in those pictures and people will be like I call is this long with Twala like no ways this is not maybe they have a wrong picture but then if you can see now this picture I've got daily sun because the other picture was guys it's always with the other picture was guys in moja to they have got a picture on Daily Sun. So can you see that it's still the same man, you guys? Remember long as a guys, he's 39. I've said to you before, I think, I, I think even me, I was surprised again, but I think he's a grown man now, you guys. So see how cool like, as we grow, we change, I think so. So you can see Woody, on those two pictures, he was sitting because he was in court right on this particular picture because he was freed Mugai was walking uh, walking home so but uh, if you look at his face you can see that is the same man who was sitting at uh, a court just that he has changed clothes he does, he's got a hoodie but not the other one that we saw on the other pictures he's got a white hoodie now but yeah I mean he's just um it is the same guy, you guys. It is the very same guy. Just lano nechko gesi miyama nga pansi and then the other one of a hoodie, okay? <clears throat> it makes him, I can say, but it is still the same guy if you can look properly, okay? He's a grown guy, this person. Before, <clears throat> before I can see this now long way, I was using those old pictures every time I'm just thinking the para long way and all that. Can you see that this is a big man, a grown 39 year old? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you guys imagine it's cool, man, a para, stealing from your dad, going back to the roads, where, wherever you're going, and you are this much old. Oh, well, we can say it for a grow up, would you? Uh uh, grow up. That behavior for this man is not just. Unless what you call, I wasn't telling the truth, but why would his father lie? At he, he takes my equipment, he sells it, and you know, why would he lie about that? He does it. Maybe he won't be on the street like him, maybe he goes to the other friends, uh, and whatever, you know, just to go to a hamper, pillar any mile because he will have sold expensive equipment. That does not look like a guy who stays in Jim Kakwenji without a home. It doesn't look like shooting plumbo sukenje and things like that. But anyways, good he he's a free man, you guys. When I see the story got daily sun, Chikutala Sandong Twala has been released from jail. After um he made a brief appearance in the Rand Big Master Street Court on Wednesday twenty fifth, which is yesterday for me. I do not know for you when you watch the video. Um he made a brief appearance yesterday on the 25th for his bail application. So I guess then he was freed. Longo was released on a warning and he'll appear again on the 25th of October for further investigation. So he's got a whole month to behave well when behave well. Ah. <laughs> but I'll put him down, man. I can't him down for this nonsense. Magistrate uh, Abdul Khan said Ulongo will be released on warning and must adhere to the bail application rules and regulations. He told him that if he is caught committing the same crime, he'll be arrested again. Mr. Twala, you are released on warning and you will return to court in October. You must be here on time and you can now go home, he said. Ukan said that he must uh, not break these bail, condi bail conditions as he'll be back in jail again, something like that. So the state, the state sorry, prosecutor advocate Esana Mushasha said he doesn't oppose the motion and welcomes the court's decision. Ulongo, who is a 39-year-old, was arrested alongside uh, his younger brother, Usilo. Usilo is 34. A couple of uh, weeks ago, after they allegedly broke into their father's house and stole the equipment with thousands of friends, Chico was in the USA. 
at that time of the incident, Silo's case was then withdrawn after the state prosecutor indicated that there wasn't enough evidence against him. So now, uh, again, Ulongwe Nae, he is now free to be to go home and make sure what you behave, okay? So this is the story about Ulongwe Tuala. When it comes to the picture, okay, you guys, I think, you know, that is Ulongwe Ngempele. You guys, just good we know him uh, on the old pictures. Uh, he haven't cha- he haven't changed his behavior, but I think as a uh, umzimba as umuntu si akula si batala singaka. But for me, nje, this man stealing from his dad, it, it sounds so funny for me. I'm like, dude, when you get time, when you get time, make sure you grow up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> when you get time. But anyways, you guys, let me move on to yet another story that I saw on my cards. There's a dancer. This is, He's a former dancer, this guy. I think uh, he's called Rashma Banana, something like that. Ogutiwa, he's saying he wants to expose Umakazi. I do not know what he's got on Umakazi. I do not know. I can see on the picture there, they were dancing together for Umakazi with Ulimpopo Boy, I think, before. Now uh, he's coming to complain. And now he's saying, I'm, I'm coming for her. I do not know what she did to her. Maybe it's about my payments and all that. I do not know. This grungled former employee and dancer to award winning Lipopo singer is beating fire. Urashima Banana used it to dance for Umakazi and has come out to say that while he worked with her, he was ill-treated and underpaid and and his uh, remun, remun what do you say this with? Remuneration or remuneration, something like that, was less than his counterpart, meaning good they were paid a salary at different you know, Limpopo boy. So he's complaining. Limpopo boy, uh, his counter- counterpart, Limpopo boy, who has since moved overseas for e- e- choreography. Now, Urashima Banana vented on his TikTok live, stating that he does not care about being judged and he will speak his truth. I was paid 10,000 rands less than Limpopo boy. I don't give a F how uh, people will take what I have to say. But the truth must come out, he said. They almost arrested her at the Botswana border. They almost arre- arrested Umakaz, remember? At the Botswana border gates. And I took the fall and asked if they take me and they leave Umakaz, I guess. But the way she treated me was terrible. After he tried to take a fall for her, she then treated her bad. That's what he said. Urashma Banana said on stage that he gave more effort, that I have more energy than the Bobo boy, but God paid less. I don't care who says what. I will expose him. What he started with, you will not finish. I will make Makazi suffer. He went on to tell Uzimoja that she started speaking ill of him and he ignored her. I kept quiet for a long time. I protected her and loved her like a sister, but she turned her back on me. Uh, that was Urashma Banana. The male dancers have since been replaced by females who travel with the star. I do not care. I will always be fine but i'm coming for her rashma banana said he has also been touring overseas i'm not sitting around and i'm not being broke makazi's management team then uh, represented by ulaki Mandira, said it is not easy to part ways with someone we have worked with for a long time uh I believe so. There are two sides of the every story, yes. Uh, and I don't think Makazi should entertain Amatrezi. But when he is calm, maybe he can sit down and resolve these issues. So he's coming to say he's got files on Umakazi, complaining about working more than Ulimpopo Boy, but he's not being paid less. I do not know why the reason why Ulimpopo Boy was paid better than him. If he and he is the one who was performing more, Uti, uh, he's got energy more than Ulimpopo Boy, but he was paid 10k but he didn't reveal how much Ulimpopo boy was paid something like that you guys so I didn't know this guy I think he was dancing for Makati before when Ulimpopo boy can see how they are wearing a same uh, outfit something like that but he's now saying he's coming for Umakazi, he's got files on her, he's going to expose her. I do not know what he's got on Umakazi. At the end of the day, I guess I'll try to follow up. Let us see what he says. Or oh, Mklambe, they will manage to sit down uh, about this one, you guys, about Kulume. And if she owes him, let him let her pay him. I guess be Kukungata there, you guys, the guy is kind of like complaining. And it coming from Umakazi and threatening her, something like that. But I believe they would eat him like Umakazi by Ashuti. You know what? Working for someone uh, for the long time and then isn't as hard because then you part ways. Obviously, Omo would have got um, a dirty loan of someone. Omo Inzo have got dirty loan. Who hung out? You guys, get fun and Something like that. Go back on dating. But anyway, let us hope they resolve this one. Thank you so much, you guys. Because Umakazi has been through so much. Man, you must go to Omo Inzo exposing. You know what? Who hunts?
but anyways you guys thank you so much for watching this particular video Ulongo is now a free man remember <laughs> and this guy I really hope they sit down with him and they communicate with him if they owe him let them pay him okay thank you so much for watching this video okay, you guys uh, kindly subscribe like share let's meet again on my next one bye